The Gambia is hosting a 10-day ECOWAS regional competence building training on weapons and ammunition and physical security and stockpile management training is on the way at a local hotel in Bakau. The training, which is organized and funded by the government of the Federal Republic of Germany and the ECOWAS Commission, brought together 42 participants from relevant security agencies of ECOWAS member states, including personnel from the Gambia Armed Forces. The course of the training will be based on international standards and best practices in the storing and handling of both small arms and light weapons and conventional ammunition. In his opening remarks, the representative of the Multinational Small Arms and Ammunition Group, MSAG, Lieutenant Colonel Commerce, said the main purpose of the training offered is to enhance the physical security and safe storage of government-owned weapons and the associated conventional ammunition. The main purpose of the training offered by us is to enhance the physical sec security and safe storage of government-owned government weapons and the associated conventional ammunition. Therefore, our project is called PCSM, Physical Security Software Management. Since this will now be the last course under our leadership, we hope to have achieved the following with our implementation since October 2018. The first issue is enhance the physical security stockpile and stockpile management of small arms, light weapons, and conventional ammunition by providing the relevant personnel with training and follow-on on training. Kofi Makajo, the representative of the Commission of the Economic Committee of West African State, ECOWAS, said the ECOWAS Commission is determined in its commitment towards addressing threats to peace, security, and stability in the region, and legal frameworks are providing member states with responses in dealing with current as well as emerging security challenges. It is in this regard that the ECOWAS Commission, in collaboration with the Bonn International Center for Conflict Studies, the ICC, is conducting regularly a multifaceted regional training to enhance the skill and capacities of the security forces of member states on PSSM. Among other objectives, it's our goal to create a pool of experts equipped by competencies of international standards and PSSM for the ECOWAS region through these trainings. It will interest you to know that this regional training is within the framework of a larger bilateral cooperation of the ECOWAS Commission with GFFO. An in-country competency training on PSSM was organized four years ago in October 2019 here in Banjul, following the request by the government of the Gambia. Today, a total of 34 security personnel from the Gambia have been trained on PSSM under this project. Serin Modunjai, the Minister of Defense, highlighted the importance of the training and how it will help in addressing the safety and security gaps that can help prevent unplanned explosions, strengthen controls, and enhance compliances with minimum safety and security standards. Identifying deficiencies in physical security and stockpile management and taking measures necessary to address the safety and security gaps that help prevent unplanned explosion strength, controls and enforce compliances with minimum safety and security standards. The development of these competencies, therefore, is the most effective and efficient way to strengthen as well as to promote sub-regional peace and security. The successful implementation of basic security and safety standards will help keep lethal weapons away from the reach of criminals and terrorist elements, thus making the world much safer and secure for everyone to maximize his or her happiness. 
The training will provide course participants with practical knowledge to improve physical security and management of national stockpiles of arms and ammunition based on the ECOWAS roadmap on PSSM and to promote the effective implementations of Article 16 of the ECOWAS Convention on Small Arms and Light Weapons. Aisa Tukoli, Gamian Talents TV News.